Hello everyone, welcome to KSD Media. Today I am going to show you how I create this magical ring. So with further ado, let's get into it. So let's open Blender and create a new file. Then I am going to delete the default cube and I am going to enable my shortcut so you can see my shortcut in here and then I am going to add a cylinder and I am going to rotate it into x axis 90 degree then I am going to to edit mode and facing 3 and go to face selection mode and select those two faces and delete those faces then I am going to press numpad 3 to go to the side view and I am going to press A to select all of this and then I am going to scale it into Y axis like that then I am going to extrude it and then I am going to press without clicking anything I am going to press S to scale it and I am going to scale it like that then I am going to add a loop cut around here and add a loop cut around here then I am going to select this to loop cut and I am going to scale it into Y axis like that then I am going to the modifier and I am going to add a subdivision surface modifier and I am going to select all of these edges and increase it one then I'm going to shade it smooth and go to data properties and enable auto smooth I'm going to use Thor hammers letters for this ring so I'm going to paste it then I'm going to if you don't know how um, how how to create this letter you can see the Thor hammer creation video in the link or you can click on the i button now so I'm going to tap to edit mode and I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to separate those by loose part then I'm going to select one select select all of this except the ring and I'm going to set its origin to three geometry then I am going to um, press alt G to cancel any location then I am going to place this object into the ring like that then I am going to make because it is created with 32 vertices I'm going to use 32 letters so each gap has gonna have one letters so I'm going to select this and with top view I'm going to rotate it like that and I'm going to scale it down like that then I'm going to front view and I'm going to take this and put it here like that then I'm going to rotate it a bit all. I'm going to do the same for all the letters
as you can see all the letters are created and I place it on the one third of the ring then I'm going to select all, all of this and I'm going to set their pivot point to 3d cursor then and I'm going to join them with control J then I'm going to add the mirror modifier and as you can see it is not in correctly mirrored because we have to apply we didn't apply any scale and so let's control a and apply scale and rotation as you can see it is good now and i'm going to enable the z axis also so as you can see it is round that as you can see it is rounded like that around the ring then i'm going to select these two and i'm select this and then i'm going to select the ring and i'm going to press ctrl minus to um, enable a difference boolean operation you have to enable this bool tool add-on uh, so otherwise the ctrl minus will not work you can enable it um, by going to edit preference and writing bool tool and enable this add-on you can you can also watch a video which are in the link below to see how to unlock how to enable the essential add-on now i'm going to select this object and i'm going to convert it to mesh apply what is do is apply all the changes then i'm going to delete this then i'm going to grab this and put it up like that then i'm going to add a plane now it's time to shading I'm going to make it Sun then I'm going to select this and set the camera the right angle then I'm going to select this and I'm going to add, colorize it like that I can wanna make it bluish like that and I'm going to make the metallic and, um, and I'm going to switch the engine to cycle you can see it's in here I'm going to make it dark like that then I'm going to then I'm going to select this and I'm going to add I'm going to um, mirror it into X and mirror it into Y then I'm going to uh, select this
then I'm going to press Ctrl plus and I'm going to go to the material tab and I'm going to create a new material and I'm going to delete this principal BSDF and I'm going to add a emission shader and I'm going to make it blue and up its strength to two three and I'm going to apply it uh, and I'm going to the cycle to see it and that's how I created this magical ring so if you like this video please click on the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for similar kinds of video thank you